Hi guys. Well, I've been a rather busy bee today. I'm going to show you the banana. I've got to turn a few things on. As you can see, I've got the window display on. Turn the window display off in a minute. I'm going to the curtains and back up just so we can see what it's like from up here. I'm actually better yet, what I'm going to do is turn the spots off. There we go. Got two sets of 20 up on the ceiling, making this uh, square shape. I wanted Another one up that end of the room, but on these newer sets, the cables are too thick. That, too thick for um, thumbtacks, so I couldn't put them up. It's really cold. It's really cold in here. I've only had that little window open, and just a small amount. Yep, I've got that set across there as well. Let's sit up there. Oh, I forgot to turn one set on. Hang on. I've got this around the monitor and whatnot, just a battery set. I've sort of some decks out. I mean, that can go in the bin. It's actually horrible. I don't like it. I don't even know why I kept it. Put that in there. That's what this one looks like from up here. I've got to turn them off in a minute because it's 8 o'clock. The cat's getting on my tits. Right. It's getting on my tits. Because he wants to dinner. Will you stop running circles around my feet and feet stick? Right. Somewhere to put it. I wonder if that's on top of that tray. Keep the dust and crap off it. Mm, Missed. Why is it as quick as I empty a bin? I fill them up again. Down there to be scraped. Friggin' carrier bags everywhere. Right. Now, what I'm going to do, I am going to have a bit of a change around in here, and a bit of a tidy up, and you're going to join me. I figured, why not? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the bedroom. Like I said, I'm going to turn the window displays off. I don't want them on. Turn the main light on in here. This box, I'm going to empty out because I've got a use for that. I'm going to put all my decks, including my, you know, my little trimmings and things, instead of in a bag, they're going to lay in there. <laughs> Actually, I might keep them in the bag, but still leave them. I'll put them in the top of... Oh, wrong one. There. I can go off. I'll leave the rest on. Right. Um, actually, before I empty this, I think the majority of it could actually go into the bedroom, so I'm just going to drag it into the bedroom, because that... Oh, sugar. Dropped it. This is the computer room, after all. Never pick something up when the bit is loose, or buy the loose bit. I knew that was loose, and I still picked it up. <laughs> right. For the time being, I can go over there. 
I'm not one. I want the shit. Probably without them rolling off the bed would be nice. Mind you, I want to hurt it because they're meant to be robust, aren't they? I can't remember what the bodies are made from. There's a polycarbonate or something. I can't remember without looking at it. Right. Now, in this box, because I have decided I'm going to buy it. That one's got bits missing, so I'm not too fussed about that. But I've got all this soft software for the VIX-22, which I wouldn't mind. I could do with a bookend, really, couldn't I? I can see all that going over, so I'm going to lay it down. I didn't want to lay it down, because I think it's going to take up a bit more room. But... So what have we actually got? Vic Writer. Uh, that shows you how old this is, for those that are in Britain. GCE, O level, CSE, or slash CSE, I should say, revision program. Yeah, we don't have GCE, O level anymore. They put it all into GCSE. That's what we get nowadays, GCSE. Well, so we've got, what's this? Know your own IQ. Do you reckon them hairstyles are rather ease? <laughs> Discover your own IQ. Four IQ tests, 160 problems to solve, automatic and tamper-proof scoring. Ooh. What's next one? Vic Money Manager. <laughs> Send that up there. I've got a couple of these large ones. I don't think I'll put those on the shelf. I'm going to get my PC games in here in a minute as well. An Introduction to Basic, Part 1. I don't have a tape deck. I've got to get a tape deck. An Introduction to Basic, Part 2. And then, of course, I've got loads and loads of books. What have we got? Outstanding, 50 Outstanding Programs for the VIC-20. Right, I'm going to lay these next to it. Ooh. That's come out of one of the boxes, that one. It looks like it came out of a... Computer Battle Games for ZX Spectrum, ZX81, BBC, TRS-80, Apple and Vic. Vic and Pet. Ooh. Let's go through some of these. I don't even look. DBase 2, Developing Applications. I have no idea if any of this is actually worth anything. But I still think it's nice to keep. An introduction to Basic Part 1. Is that a book that's meant to go to one of those? That's where it's going to go. I don't want that. What else have we got? Let's stack them up there and we'll go through Oh. Yep. This is what this is for. Volx Computer 70... Oh, Blackjack. It's a game. We have a game. We've got one game. I know Black Records do a lot of games. Okay. So, we've got this one, which is the personal computing on the VIC-20. Better keep hold of that one. Oh. Oh, that's for, um... What would you need a user guide for that? VIC-1541 single drive floppy disk user's manual. You plug it in, you put a disk in. <laughs> ah. C2N cassette unit operating instructions. That should have gone with the tape deck that was with this that he sold. That's in French. Manuel de... Oh, I can't bloody pronounce French. <laughs> I'm either going to try... Oh, actually, just for a laugh. Do you... Do you Bollocks. No, nope, not going to bother. Ooh, hello. The complete Vic-ROM disassembly. That's 
narrower. I'm not going to put that on yet. What's this? Personal computing on the VIC-20, a friendly computer guard. Next. Starting fourth. That should have gone on the bottom. Vic revealed. Um, program Programmer's reference guide. Right. And that should go on the bottom because it's a broader book. Stamp those all over there. These can go on top there. Ooh. What are these? Got Sanyo on the back of that. <laughs> Sanyo, Sanyo Colour Television. Oh, that's got to be worth a look. <laughs> Machine Code Monitor. No idea, but I'll keep hold of that. Next. Programmer's Aid Carriage. I'm not sure we've got that. Super Expander. And of course, that one we've already done. Right. <laughs> I'm going to have a look at that one. Um, right. I'm just going to get on and have a bit of a tidy up in here, then I'll um, come back. So, uh, talk to you again. Well, talk to you in a bit. But, uh, no, what am I doing? Eh, right. Going to disappear. Get this lot cleared up. And then I'll be back. Right. Um, I'm a bit ticked off because I just deleted a video I made this morning, so I've now got to redo it. Or I could just throw it in on this video. I don't know yet. Anyway, like a turn up, I've just placed these three heavy power supplies that I'm going to get rid of because I don't need them. I'm not going to use them. I might salvage whatever parts I can out of them, but. Uh, Apart from that, they will be going. So I'm just going to put you there just for a moment. So I can move these. Because I need to get to the box that they're sitting on. I should have thought that before I uh, put them on there. But anyway. Lego instructions in the connect box. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. This little lot that I paid three pounds for can go in there. That's that sword. That's one spare tray. Right. I'm getting somewhere, I think. Sorry, but I'm getting somewhere. And I'm sure a piece of connects fell out. Uh, maybe not, I can't see it. Ah. Here's some loose connects I uh had as well. I keep finding connects everywhere. There we go. Right. My tub of connects is actually getting quite full. <laughs> Now, next job. Paperwork, paperwork. The case of cars. Where can I slide that? Nowhere to slide it at the moment, so I'm going to put it out. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to show you. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Hang on. That's not going to work. I need. Oh, I don't know what torch I can use. One that I'm going to give to Mum. I'm going to give Mum this one. Mm. That's better. All these power supplies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven in that pile. There's about three loose ones down there. And there's piles over the back here. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten, and there's two stacks of them. So I'm definitely not short of a power supply or two. 
for free. <laughs> right. Anyway, I don't need power supplies, so let me shut that door. What I need is to get to this corner. Um, for the Windows XP gaming machine I'm going to be building, I've got um, the best video cards I could find. That's an NVIDIA GeForce with 128 megabytes of RAM. Um, it's a GeForce FX. I can get it in the light. Three thousand, I think. I need a magnifying glass on that because my eyes aren't quite reading. But I'm going to research those and see which one's the best because I don't know what the other two are. One's an Asus. Uh, I'm not sure what the other one is. Um, I can't remember what brand did the uh, red colour. Oh. Tub of random bike parts in the bloody cupboard. Oh well. I'll just gather those up in a minute and uh, I'll take them through. Um, it's getting too late to put screws in, so I'm not going to do that tonight. I want to hang some of these road lamps up. Anyway, I suppose while I'm sorting this corner out, I might as well explain what I'm going to do. That's what this morning's video I made was about, but I've just gone and deleted it like a dipstick. Deleted the wrong file, that's what I did accidentally. <laughs> Never mind. Doesn't matter. Right, anyway. In short, what I want to do is build an area up here. Basically, similar to what I've done in the lounge for the work surface for the um, Lego in here so I can put the monitor or two monitors will be one of those and an LCD and the iMac on top here so it, it will probably be up to this um, old computer desk from the pipe work uh, and obviously I need to leave at least enough room to get the iMac under this shelf because that monitor I'll put up the corner there and I think the LCDs won't matter too much um, and then what I'm going to do is arrange it so I can have some of the desktops lined up on the floor I could probably get about four lined up in just that short space there um, so it'll Definitely the Windows 2000, possibly that XP, the XP I'm building and whatever else I can think of putting under there, like that Windows Millennium, yeah, Windows Millennium, that's up there, the Windows Me, the one that was always, always had a life of its own, um, yeah, so... I also have extra shelves probably placed up this end. No, I'll probably put them up this end actually. If I'm going to put CRT monitor up that end, and I'll put the desktops that end. Yeah, and there will be a little shelf to put flat cases on like that. That will go on a little shelf under it as well. This is what I've made sure I've got plenty of uh, slack. Um, RJ45 cable. There's plenty to reach over here. That shelf, as you can see, is probably going to be like the software and book shelf so far. And I'll put, up, put what I've got up there so far, that's all. Um, and whatever else I can get hold of at a reasonable price, of course. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, I don't even know if the disc is in there. No, none of it is in there. <laughs> that's a good start, right. Is it this one? No, that's Lords of Midnight. What have I done with the rest? That's Laser Genius. There's Laser Genius in there. No, they ain't fucking in there either. 
Oh, and that's missing the cassette tapes anyway, so... Probably not a lot of good now. Got more software and boxes down it. Ah! Lords of Midnight. That's the box for that. Yeah, I'm pretty certain there's some cassette tapes missing for this as well. But I will keep hold of them for the time being. You can go... Just stand up there, I think. Right, so I've got bits missing for that. Some more cassettes. What did I do with the other one I had? I had one for the... Um, oh, there it is. I was going to say. I had one for the um, thingy. You can just stand there. Oh, the land of midnight, not the lords of midnight. Mm -hmm. What the booklet? Well, that says the lords. Oh, hang on, I'm reading the back of the book. <laughs> Shut up. There. <laughs> Oops. Try reading the front of the book. What's that? Right. Now. Nope, there's no disc up there. What we've got hiding down here, apart from a shitload of rubbish. Books, booklets, my RM laptop that uh, eventually I will upgrade to its one gigabyte of RAM. I know those books go in there. That doesn't. Ah. Ooh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. There we go, I found it. Oh, there's the getaway. Right. It's typical. Try and get them to the stack tidily at least. Uh, um the, oh. And the book hidden down there that I didn't realise was there. See that can go up there as well. These extra cartridges, special cartridge by Audio Computers, and Vixen switchable RAM. Ah, so that must be an extra RAM cartridge for the Vic. Right, so I'll keep those up there as well. There's a hell of a lot more with this, but he sold quite a bit of it on um, eBay. I suppose he couldn't be bothered to list the rest of it. Right. Okay, I'm just thinking, that's all. Um, just saying in a bit of room, just move those up there. See, if I could, I'd incorporate shelves in the build of the desk as well to house things like the software on. Maybe something just like that to um, um, put the um, PC games on. Because that will actually free up more shelf space in here. Oof, I'm working up as well. To um, put me Lego on, because I'm not likely, I don't really need the games here, because I'm not likely to play them in here. I'm more likely to go and put them, or to play them on the PCs in the bedroom, when I get the um, corner set up. I think it's going to look a lot tidier with a proper, proper good corner set up in here. No, do I do them like that, which is going to take up a lot more shelf space? Or do I stack them? No, 
that might be better to stack them that way, might not? I could get more on the shelf. Yeah. Especially if I... I'll just hang those over the edge of the shelf just a smidge. I should be able to get some more up there. Good. That's what I'll do then. Come back through here and we'll get another handful. My knees playing up because I've been up and down the ladder quite a bit today. My knee doesn't like it. I'm going to mum's on Sunday. I hope. I think the plan is when I step down, I'm going to tackle the workshop. Once upon a time, I didn't have one PC game. But, I'm getting into computers more and more. as my second hobby. More than bikes, because I don't really do much with bikes, to be honest. I build them, that's about it. Which is why I'm going legit, as it were. You know, I've done the form with the job centre, I need two hands here, so I'm just going to sit you there. Done the form with the job centre. Um, which is good. Which will allow me to, um, well, continue as I was, really, because like I said, I'd be lucky to do a bike once a month let alone once a week, so I'll be well within the um, designated limits. And it's got to be below their limits, because even if you do exactly the limits, it will affect your benefits. So, so long as I uh, keep below, which, uh, as I've said before, is easy to do, I'll be fine. I can continue to make the extra bit of pocket money now and again. As for eBay, I'm not going to bother anymore. Um, simply because it's too much of a friggin' headache these days. You know, just for someone like me, doesn't have an eBay shop, you know, puts things on there occasionally when, he, when I want to get rid of a few things out of the way or whatever, have a clear out. Um... That's just an arsake. Arsake with posting. Uh, no, I'd rather not anymore. Not unless I find something that is really, you know, worth putting on there. Uh, anything that I know I'm only going to get like 99p for, it's not worth the hassle. I come in here for something and I don't know what. <laughs> Never mind. Get that shelf cleared. What I want to do. I also want to um, make a little cubby hole up this corner to st at least stack the laptops on. Um, maybe not a shelf, maybe again just straight on the floor. But as long as I can find a cubby hole or something. Because there will be enough room on the top to put that, that, the LCD monitor just in case I need an extra one for some extra PCs and um, enough room hopefully on the far end here to um, just plug a laptop in as and when I need it <laughs> basically I've got hole cuts so I cut holes in for the um, monitor cables and keyboard cables See, I'm I don't know whether just to stick with the four I've got through the one monitor, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can get um, switches that can um, have more than four machines connected to, connected to it. So I've only got them four there, or a four-way, and I've got a two-way under the bed. Um, so I'm not sure. But at least with the new setup, I could sit with... Um, I'll get another computer chair and I can just sit at a proper desk in here 
and just play around with the old PCs. Be like what um Jay Wakefield, who's got the um, Blue Planet 64 Sounds Frontier videos channel. I think that's the full title of his channel. Um, he sort of done that in his flat as well. Made like a, a vintage computer corner in the bedroom. But uh, I've got a bit more stuff. <laughs> I've got two... Yeah, I will say I've got two main hobbies. The bikes, you know, I do that mostly outside, so I don't need to make room up here for that. It's just this time of year, it's a lot warmer and a lot drier to do it up here. Um, but I tend not to do a lot with bikes this time of year anyway. Mostly because of the weather and mostly because, well, I don't like doing bikes up here because I do get clumsy with the tools and tools being dropped on the floor does upset my neighbour, understandably, so... I don't, if I can help it, but uh, I actually find this time of year it's very slow at selling bikes anyway, mainly because of what the weather's like. Short 20 minutes really, what the hell? Um, Post before I do disappear and continue any. All the motherboards nice and tidily stacked in there for a change. Two up there, one on the box there. There's the box behind the motherboards is that's containing. I think it's just disk drives for laptops. I've got no idea if any work or what work or whatever. There's the box full. Of them. I haven't sorted yet. And I've got my tub of. Um, various cards to upgrade your PC with. There's video capture cards and all sorts in there. You know, TV cards, sound cards, graphics cards, you name it, it's in there. So, I've just got to decide what to do. I really need to bust that soldering iron out, really, and... Uh, An Amstrad cassette, though. What uh, case does that go into? That's laser genius. What's this one then? It's a Starion. Starion? I don't know. It must go in one of these um, games I've got. This is the other thing that got me a bit puzzled as well. This came with the um, Commodore Vic 20. Going by that connector, I would have thought this was like a printer port or something. So you can connect your serial printer cable to that. That's what it looks like to me. Let me go up there. Uh, I wish you'd have kept the rest of it now because there was the other games and things to go with it. The tape deck. The tape deck is what I'd have liked to have him to have kept the most, but never mind. Uh, da, 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 da. Carrier bag down there, that can go in the bin. I've got enough carrier bags. More than enough carrier bags, actually. Yeah, I still want to get some of these um, boards working, if I can. I'm sure with a bit of ingenuity I can get them going. I'll have to take that. Actually. Yeah. The hell is that the time we're ready? It's nearly 20 past nine. I'll go and put the bikes in the shed, I think, and I'll take that recycle bin down with me. That's better, I can get most of my decorations in one bloody box now. I've just got to hope that box is going to go up in the cupboard. <laughs> if not, I'm screwed. But if I can get most of it in there, that'll just make life a hell of a lot easier. And I've got that one for lights, I'm not sure. going to go up in that top cupboard with that. That's a piece of crap that can go in. The bin. Um, <sighs> must be tired. Then again, 
been quite busy today. Right, well, I don't want to rattle on too much because I've probably got over half an hour's worth of footage now. If I count the first section. This is oh, yeah. I'll put this thing up in the um, hallway. It'll be one of the ones I'll put up there. So it's quite a nice one. Some of them I've thrown out because they won't open correctly and they just weren't worth it. Actually, a lot of the ones I threw out are ones I grabbed out of um, the skip from the warehouse Katali was clearing out. Which is a really? Dumbass. <laughs> Try and uh, pull those bells out. Oh, here we go. <sighs> right, I'm going to disappear and probably get a few more things done, or I might just take five and sit at the PC. Because I'm actually working up a little bit of a sweat. Whew. I may have to open the window again, but I'm going to get cold if I open the window. Oh yeah, I'm going to do those bikes before I call it a night. So, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, Stay tuned for more videos for the computer corner because it is going to happen. Because uh, I am sick and tired of it. What I plan to use is getting hold of an old wardrobe, and perhaps some lengths of two by two or something similar. We basically make a similar frame up to that, but um, with a shelf underneath it, and then probably a shelf underneath that and whatnot. Not quite that tall either. But the height, well, about the height of the computer desk, I suppose, would be good. So I can um, sit at it nice and comfortably like this. So, yeah, I think. Yeah, because that's quite a tall case, that one. Yeah, that's what I'll do then. Hold on. Make it about the height of this, and now there's basically be some shelves like built under it, like this. Oh, and that's the other thing I want is some um, DVD racks. So I can get rid of the um, DVD cabinet that's in there. So I'll take the DVDs out and put in a DVD rack. I'll take up a bit less space. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it, and uh, subscribe for more videos. Because uh, I think what I'll do, when I build that shelf in the corner, I'll set this camera up on something and just leave it to record what I'm doing. So I'll probably stand at the doorway, actually, or close to the doorway. Um, I suppose I could set the camera on the tripod, the little one, which is over there, and uh, point it in that direction. Perhaps stand it on the computer table, I could move that. Anyway, I'm rambling on now, so uh, I'm going to disappear. So, uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.